Welcome back guys, I am so excited for today's video. So for this video, I'm actually partnering with one of my favorite places to shop online, which is Amazon. So they have an online gift guide for Father's Day and they had so many really cool gadgets on there. So I picked my top five. Um, these were the most popular ones, the highly rated ones, and things that I think that you guys would really enjoy seeing me test out. So we're gonna go jump right into it because the first thing I have here is actually something that has been all over the internet recently. This is the Instant Pot. And it's funny because a lot of you guys have actually asked me here on my channel to make recipes and to make different um, dishes using an Instant Pot. And I was like, what is that? From what I've read, you can like saute in it. You can also use it as a slow cooker and a pressure cooker. And since this is a Father's Day theme video, I was thinking of ideas like different recipes that we could try out in this and I decided we're going to be making barbecue ribs with this you can actually make it in like 30 minutes and the meat will be so soft like it falls off the bone soft so I actually looked up a recipe and I'm just gonna be following it I have my ribs right here you guys have never made ribs before so this is like a true test to see how well this works so I'm gonna start by turning the instant pot on and I'm gonna put it on saute and I'm making sure that I have this little thing inside of the Pan. And I'm just adding about two cups of apple juice to this. I also have some apple cider vinegar that I'm going to add to the pot. I'm just going to bring those two things to a boil. So I'm going to add a little bit of seasoning to it. I'm going to do some onion powder, some garlic, paprika. I'm going to add my ribs now with the meat side down. Just going to place the lid. And I'm going to switch it over to meats and stews. Go ahead and hit start. Okay, so the pressure cooker is already turned off. Now we just have to release the pressure cooker valve. So definitely use like a glove or something. I'm just going to push this little button right here. You can see the steam coming out. Even though the steam is so close to me, I can't feel it on my face, which is really awesome. They're fully cooked already, but I'm going to be crisping them up in the oven. I'm just going to put a little bit of barbecue sauce on them and then put them on the broiler. The ribs are done, and you guys, they smell so good. I'm just going to taste it. Oh my gosh. You guys, I actually made ribs. These are really good. And it's like super, super tender. And it took 40 minutes for all of this. I'm definitely impressed by the Instant Pot. Like, I still cannot believe they made this. So this is the Philips Air Fryer XXL. And I'm so excited for this, you guys, because you can make things like french fries, black onions, onion rings, basically anything that you can think of fried. And this is going to fry it with air instead of oil. So it's going to be so much healthier. And if you guys have been following my channel for a while, you know that one of my all-time favorite foods in this world is french fries. I have been soaking some fries right here. Um, this is a little trick that my Walitha taught me. You basically just get cold water and you salt it. I use sea salt and then just cut up your fries. Just used a russet potato and let it soak for like 30 minutes. So this is going to take away all that starchiness from the fries and it's gonna help them crisp up. I'm gonna get rid of the water that's in here. I'm gonna pat them dry and then I'm going to put a little bit of extra virgin olive oil in them. So now I'm just going to add my fries to the basket. So luckily this is pretty intuitive. I didn't even read the instructions. Maybe I should have. Um, and then I'm going to put it, it's already on 350 and I'm going to put it for 30 minutes. This is why I like using aluminum foil. Salt on them. They're definitely crispy. You guys. I'm not going to say that they taste exactly like deep fried french fries. I mean, does anything really. But they definitely satisfy that need for fried food if you have it. These are super tasty, you guys. Mm. I give this a thumbs up as well. Next, we're testing out the Vitamix. This is the E310 series. It's a little bit smaller, which I think is really cool because with this, you can do so many things. You can use it as a food processor. You could use it as a blender. Um, I know you can make like soups and ice cream with this. I'm actually just gonna make a smoothie today because 
You guys might know we have green smoothies like almost every day. You have the option of using this, what is this called? I know this has a name, let me, let me find the name of it so I'm not calling it that thingy like I do with things that I don't know the names to. So I read that this is called a tamper. If you have things that, you, that need to be pushed down, this is what you would use. So I have all my ingredients already separated and this is gonna be pretty much enough for one giant thing of smoothie or for two people. So I'm gonna start off with like the lightest at the very bottom. And I use a power green mix, so it has spinach, kale, some other green stuff that I can't pronounce. I add blueberries, half a banana here, and then I have coconut flesh, which looks so yummy. This is just, like, we get the coconuts from Whole Foods, and we crack them open, and we use the juice of the coconut as the liquid, and then the flesh goes in the smoothie. And then for sweetness, we always add one date. This is the coconut juice from the actual coconut and then I'm going to fill it up with ice. And that is it, now we're going to blend it. So this does have a variable speed, so I would always start it off on number one, turn it on, and then slowly bring it up all the way to maximum speed. But do you guys see how creamy this Vitamix blended everything? I'm already a huge fan of the Vitamix, if you guys couldn't tell. Uh, but this is just a more compact version, which I think is just the perfect size. Perfect for everyday use, for smoothies and protein shakes and things like that. So this is the Dyson V10 Cordless Vacuum Cleaner, which is supposed to have like 20% more suction power than their last edition, which I believe was the V8. And it's also half of the weight, which I totally agree with. It is super light. Uh, but this is an awesome vacuum cleaner, you guys. I put it to the test right now, so it is dirty because I just finished using it. Um, I wanted to test out the suction power. I do have some really thick plush rugs in our house and I wasn't sure if this was actually going to be able to clean it properly. Uh, if you guys are not new to my channel, you know that I struggle with that rug because it's so thick so I usually have to like vacuum backwards. Like the vacuum cleaner will just get stuck otherwise and I wanted to put this to the test and I am happy to report that it passed with flying colors. Um, so it does have three different settings. It has low, medium, and max. So depending on what setting you put it on is going to depend on how much battery power you have. It says up to 60 minutes if you use it on low setting and then about 20 minutes if you have it on the max setting. In the demos that I'm showing you guys, I actually had it on medium, so I probably could have even gone low. And it does come with several different attachments. So the one that it has on right now is like the all-purpose attachment. Then it comes with this one right here, which has like a really soft, smooth, um, surface. This is really good for more delicate floors. But you guys, my favorite part about this vacuum cleaner is how easy it um, detaches and turns into a handheld vacuum cleaner. So there's a little button that you press right here. Set it down. And this is all you do to put it together. And there's a little button right here, that's what you press to turn it on. You do have to keep your finger on the trigger for it to continue to stay on, which I feel like that would actually help conserve battery. That way when you let go of it, it stops. It's funny, I asked my husband what his least favorite thing to do around the house is as far as chores goes, and he said hands down floors, specifically vacuuming. So I feel like something like this just makes it so easy because you literally just take it off of the charging dock. And because it doesn't have a cord, it makes it easy for you to take it into your car to do like spot cleaning, spot detailing. My husband is like super meticulous about his car being clean. So I know this is a feature that he would personally enjoy. Why do so many electronics still have cords to this day? I have no idea. The last product I have to share with you guys is the iRobot Roomba. This thing, I've actually been using it for the past week. I don't have it here to show you guys just the packaging because I do have it plugged in into its stock. This little thing is so cool. I'm sure you guys don't need an explanation of what a Roomba is. Um, it's basically a little robot vacuum cleaner that vacuums on its own and it kind of learns how to navigate throughout your home. This model in particular, you can um, control it with your phone by just hitting this button that says clean. You can schedule your cleaning. So let's say you want it to go off at the same time every day. Maybe when you leave for work, you can set a timer through the little app that you have on your phone. You don't even have to be home to tell it to clean, which I just think is so cool. But what really impressed me is the fact that this can get into places that I can't necessarily get into with my vacuum cleaner, like underneath the sofa. You guys, this collected so much dirt from underneath my sofa, I'm a little embarrassed, but it can get into all those little crevices. It's gonna do a good job of um, not letting things like dust bunnies accumulate. 
And also, I wish I would have had this when we had dark floors because I remember before we changed our floors out to the ones that we have, they were like this super like espresso color and they were not forgiving. Like any little bit of dirt or dust, it would show. Um, something like this would have kept them looking nice and squeaky clean all the time and it would have gotten rid of all that dust. So this is the perfect little gadget for my husband because like I said, his least favorite things is floors. So if I ask him to do the floors, all he's gonna do is just click clean. So those are my top five products for this Father's Day gift guide. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments if you guys own any of these and if you do, what your favorite one is. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe before you leave and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.